Good happy Friday evening. I'm Riley King and welcome to the Riley King Newscast. Let's get started. First up, Hampstead officials criticized for describing how he would attack school. The Hampstead School Superintendent and School Board Chairman are denying comments made by an official at a budget meeting how described how he would shoot students saying he would have a field day. Get your parka lots to do this long weekend. Fresh snow this week has left beautiful dry powder, which will help get people outside to enjoy all that is happening in New Hampshire outdoors this weekend. New Hampshire Drug Carza announces registration. The New Hampshire official task with coordination and responses to the state's opiate crisis said he will step down in February. System arriving Friday night will bring wet snow, freezing rain. A system arriving Friday night will bring wet snow and freezing rain to most of the Granite State. Rubio picks up support in post-debate rally in Derry. Hours after a Republican presidential candidate met for the first debate of 2016, U.S. Senator Marco Rubio spoke with voters and picked up an endorsement in New Hampshire. Democrats to target Cruz with an issue a day during New Hampshire bus tour. When Ted Cruz arrives on Sunday to begin a five-day bus tour, touches all 10 New Hampshire counties, he will have arrived in another way. No case against Jones, at this point report says. The Foxborough chief at of police maintains the incident involving the New England Patriots player Chandler Jones was a medical emergency and at this point the public knows all it needs to know. A list of Walmart stores closing released. Two Massachusetts Sam Club stores will close at the end of the month as part of Walmart's plan to close 269 stores worldwide, the retail giant announced Friday. Two thousand and ten GOP Gober National nominee John Stephan endorses Marco Rubio. Former State Department of Health and Human Services Commissioner and two thousand and ten Republican Global Nation nominee John Stephan will endorse U.S. Senator Marco Rubio for president on Friday. State police urge drivers to move over for stopped vehicles. State police are urging, again, reminding drivers to slow down and move over when they see a stopped trooper. Lindsey Graham endorses Jeb Bush for president. Republican presidential candidate Jeb Bush has scored the endorsement of South Carolina Senator Lindsey Graham. Ex-correction officer accused of cutting inmates' shirt pleads guilty. A former New Hampshire corrections lieutenant has pleaded guilty to a charge linked with the treatment of an inmate at a Concord halfway house in 2014. Shaheen 
AOT ask VA to speed up payments to providers. U.S. Senator Jean Shaheen is asking the Secretary of Veterans Affairs to help speed up payments uh, to health care providers through the Veterans Choice Program. Canada, Canadian man caught smuggling prescription pills on sled. A Canadian man has been charged with allegedly smuggling 182 pounds of Ampliza, commonly known as Exxon, across the United States border on a sled. Dow sinks nearly 400 points. Investors unease. The Dow dropped another 391 points on Friday, leaving the index down an incredible 1,437 points in the just the first two weeks of the year. And that did it for the Riley King newscast right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your Friday night. Good night, everyone. Bye.